initially, the first domains to really adopt crowdsourcing uh, were in uh, the technology fields, but especially advertising and marketing. Um, it then began to spread uh, into academic research and corporate science. Uh, it is increasingly popular on Capitol Hill, uh, and I'm sort of gratified and humbled and also bewildered uh, to hear terms like crowdsourcing and crowdfunding, um, which were just silly made-up words bandied about by my editor and I, uh, circa 2006, uh, now passing the lips of senators and uh, representatives. Um, uh, the, the policies that have come up is uh, there is a move, a bipartisan move, uh, to, uh, to essentially deregulate uh, uh, some of the, the rules that the SEC has around small business fundraising. Um, in other words, let small businesses crowdfund. Um, let, they, let them take very small amounts of investment uh, in exchange for very small amounts of equity. Um, right now, this runs into a raft of regulations that I won't pretend to understand. Um, but I think it's smart legislation, and uh, to believe uh, the odds makers, it has a really good chance of uh, succeeding. It's, it's one of the few proposals enjoying bipartisan support right now. Trying to get the crowd involved in actually creating uh, policy legislation uh, has been a tougher nut to crack. Uh, I think that it has great promise on the local level when you can get, say, a precinct involved or, you know, or just a neighborhood involved in uh, the drafting of you know, a zoning change. Uh, or you know something that is a pocketbook issue for a small number of people who have great incentive to all contribute to a wiki where they would all come up with a piece of legislation. Uh, it has uh, it has been tougher to pull off on on a larger scale. Although it's worth noting that uh, an alternative to SOPA has now been drafted uh, by the crowd. I haven't read it. I'm not going to pretend if it's. I know if it's good or bad, um, but it, it has, by all reports, been a success. A, a lot of the same people who were vehemently against SOPA have said, look, we understand that piracy is a problem for copyright holders um, and that uh, the labels and the studios aren't completely off base. These are industries we want to protect. Uh, SOPA protesters aren't anti-capitalist. Uh, they're not against the culture industry. Uh, and so they've come together to draft an alternative. Uh, and uh, you know, we'll see where that goes.